Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this SolidWorks tutorial, I will explain you how to model this base of the robotic arm. So let's begin. So first I'm gonna click on file, click on new and I'm gonna open a new part file and click OK. After that I'm gonna make sure that I'm working in MMGS as units. So I want to work in millimeters. I'm gonna change the background to plain white. This is optional step. And then I will select the top plane and click on sketch and then I will create here a circle and another circle at the origin right and then I'm gonna specify the diameters so the diameter of the smaller circle is 90 millimeter and the diameter of the bigger circle is 121.5 millimeters okay then I will go to features select extruded boss base and I will specify here 4 millimeters as the length of extrusion and check the box and after that I'm gonna specify the appearance which is definitely an optional step <clears throat> okay so then I will select this face and click on sketch then I will select this circle and click on convert entities and a circle is created okay so then I will select the circle and click on offset and I will specify 4 millimeter as offset so I want here the external so I do I will not select the reverse so go to feature select extruded boss face again and here I'm gonna specify 52 millimeters the extrusion length and check the box all right okay so I'm gonna change the color a little bit all right so then I will need a plane which cut the part in half like this so in my case this is front plane I will click sketch and I will create here a center line like this and then I'm gonna create here a corner rectangle here so this is a corner rectangle then I will select smart dimension tool so this is going to be 8 millimeter width from this point to this point here I'm gonna specify the distance which is going to be 11.25 millimeters and from this point to this point here I'm gonna specify the length as 18 millimeters alright so this is defined then I'm gonna create another corner rectangle here alright mm, let's change the color a little bit so that we can see the dimensions and the lines okay select smart dimensioning tool and here from this point to this line the distance is going to be 2.25 and similarly this distance I'm gonna specify as well so this is 18 and the width is 8 millimeter for this rectangle and finally the length is going to be 15 okay so this is fully defined as you can see it from here the sketch is defined so go to feature select extruded boss space and I want the extrusion in both directions so I will specify here mid uh, mid plane and the length of extrusion is 26 millimeters and uh, after that I will check the box from here okay all right so then I want a section view so I'm gonna select the section view and select this face okay and then I can drag the plane almost in the center and check the box so this is a section view okay so in section view I will create some features so select this face and click on sketch okay and then I will select a center line from this point to this point create a center line and then I'm gonna select here a center rectangle so I create a center rectangle here and then let's select smart dimensioning tool and here I'm gonna specify this distance is 5 millimeters this distance is going to be 10 and finally the width of the rectangle is 10 millimeters all right go to features and this time select extrude cut so I want to cut this up to surface so select here up to surface in direction 1 and select the surface check the box all right 
so this feature has been created again select this face and click on sketch I want to cut a hole so I will do some sketching so create here a reference center line then I'm gonna create here a circle on this line and the diameter for this is going to be 10 then the distance from this center point to this line is 14 millimeter okay so now I will cut this circle so go to feature select extruded cut and this time I will specify through all so specify through all and then check the box so this hole has been created now exit the section view <coughs> okay now select this face and click on sketch and this time I'm gonna again create here a center line from this point to this point and the distance I'm gonna specify here as 2.5 2.5 millimeters then again select here a center line and from this midpoint to here any point in here in the space create here a center line then I'm gonna specify the distance which is going to be 48 millimeters and then I will create here a midpoint line here and make sure that this is construction geometry so select this line and select this option for the construction geometry which means the center line okay now I will create here two circles and these circles should be horizontally aligned so I will hold the control key select these two origins of the circle and make relation horizontal and then also these should be equal so hold control key select these two circle make relation equal now I will select my dimensioning tool and here I will specify the diameter so the diameter is going to be 2.8 so both circles since they are equal so both circles will have same diameter then the distance from this point to this point is going to be 5 millimeters okay now I will mirror things so select mirror entities and I will select these two circles and mirror about I will select this line and both of these circles will be get will get mirror here okay now go to feature select extruded cut this time and here I will specify blind as direction one and the depth of cut is going to be 7.2 millimeters and check the box okay and now I will select the space and click on sketch and I will create here a center line okay now I will select the line from this point to this point and a thin and line at some angle so this angle is going to be 60 degree okay all right now I want to select this internal circle and select convert entities first and then select trim entities and power trim the circle so what happened I have got this arc okay now I want to mirror things so I select mirror entities and I will select these two lines and mirror about this vertical line this got mirrored oh I actually missed the arc so select the mirror entities and select this arc and then mirror about this vertical line and this is gonna get mirrored all right now I will select offset entities and select this sketch and here I'm gonna specify 8 millimeters and reverse check the reverse and then check the box okay hmm. now create here a line press escape button now select this line make relation vertical this is going to be a 90 degree line so from this line to this line the distance is five uh, five millimeters okay now select here trim entities and very carefully trim this line trim this line trim this line trim this line okay now uh, okay select smart dimensioning tool and here we have lost the dimension so this is going to be five millimeter got it sketch is fully defined <coughs> now go to feature select extruded boss space and the depth of extrusion is four millimeter blind 
in the downward direction not the upward so change the direction from here and then check the box so this has been created okay and now select this back face and click on sketch and create here a circle at the origin now I'm gonna specify the diameter for this so the diameter for this is going to be 110 millimeters and then select this circle and make it as a construction geometry okay so here create a smaller circle and now specify the diameter for this circle which is going to be five millimeters and then I will I want four circles so I will select here circle pattern so in the parameter I'm gonna specify this midpoint and entity so pattern I'm gonna select the circle so as you can see these are four if you want to increase more you can increase it from here and uh, but I want since four I will specify four and make sure that you have selected equal spacing as well and then check the box then I will go to features select extruded cut and here I will specify through all and check the box so this base has been modeled it's a little bit complex part because the motors are gonna get attached on this base as well so now I will save the part so go to file click on save as and save it as base so that's all for this tutorial guys and see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching